hi welcome back to my youtube channel civil engineering easy today i am gonna to solve the numerical example related to engineering mechanics it is given that if the sack has a weight of 20 pound determine the weight of the sack b and the force in each card needed to hold the system in the equilibrium position as shown for the solution of this example you need to first to make the free body diagram of joint e how the free body diagram of joint b will be look like Zoom into the joint E and show all the forces acting on joint E by an arrow. It is not a hard and fast rule to set the arrow but it's up to you to set the direction of the arrow by your own choice. But later if your solution assume is negative change the direction of the arrow. Let's proceed to explain the free body diagram of joint E in details. There are one vertical force having 20 pound magnitude and is applied at the joint E downward. Assume the force in card EG as the tension that is the arrow of the forces is away from the joint. Assume the force in card EC is a tension that is the arrow of the forces is away from the joint. What will we do now? We need to find out the force in member EG and the force in member EC. By using the equilibrium equation, we will use two conditions of equilibrium equation that is the summation of all horizontal forces acting on the joint is equal to zero. And another equilibrium equation is the algebraic summation of all the vertical forces acting along the y-axis must be equal to zero. Before using the equilibrium equation, resolve the forces in the free body diagram into their rectangular component. That is the resolution of FEG along x-axis is FEG multiply by cos of theta and the vertical component is FEG into sine of 60 degree. Similarly, the forces in member EC, the adjacent component with theta is FEC multiply by cos of 45 degree and the horizontal component is FEC multiply by sine of 45 degree. Use the first equilibrium equation that is summation of f of x is equal to 0. Take the forces acting on the right side is positive and the left acting forces as a negative and make their algebraic sum equal to 0. Let's see all the horizontal forces. One is FEG and two cos of 60 degree toward the right side take it positive. Another horizontal force is FEC and two sine of 45 acting toward the left side. So take it as a negative. So there is no horizontal forces left, take their algebraic sum equal to zero. Eliminate the force FEG from the equation and write it in term of the force FEC. So FEG is equal to FEC multiply by sine of 45 divided by cos of 60 degree. By simplification, FEG is equal to under the root 2 multiply by FEC. Label it as equation number 1. These two forces are unknown and we cannot find it in this stage. But still we have to use the second condition of equilibrium that is summation of f of y is equal to 0. The vertical force is acting in upward direction is positive and the downward force is acting at this point is negative. So only one force that is FEG into sine of 60 degree acting at upward direction consider it as a positive. Another force that is 20 pound acting downward at point E take it as a negative. Still we have one force left that is FEC into sine of 45 acting downward. Take it as a negative. The algebraic summation of these three forces must be equal to zero. Why equal to zero? Because these forces must cancel the effect of each other in the vertical direction to satisfy the equilibrium equation. That is summation of f of y is equal to zero. Now solve the equilibrium equations as we have already find out the value of the force FEG in term of the force FEC. Write down the value of FEG into the equation and by simplification we will get 0 0.5176 into FEC minus 20 is equal to 0. Further simplify the equation and find the value of FEC that will be equal to FEC is equal to 20 divided by 0.5176 by solving we will get the value that is 38.64 pound. It's mean that there is 38.64 pound of tension in the cord EC. Once we find out the force in EC, we can find out the force in EG by using the relation FEG is equal to under the root multiplied by FEC. By putting the value FEG is equal to under the root and the value of FEC is 38.64. 
By simplification, we will get the force in EG is equal to 54.64 pound. Until now, we have completed our analysis at joint E. In order to find out the weight B and the force in chord CD, we will draw a free body diagram of the joint C. Let's draw the free body diagram of joint C. At joint C, one unknown weight is attached. We will find out its magnitude. One force FEC is acting at 45 degree with the horizontal and another force FCD acting at a triangle given that is 3, 4, 5 triangle. First we need to resolve the forces into their horizontal and vertical component. That is FEC into cos of 45 degree is the horizontal component and FEC multiplied by sine of 45 degree is the vertical component. FCD into cos of theta is the horizontal and FCD into sine of theta is the vertical component. The value of cos of theta of the force CD is 4 by 5 based on the given triangle and the sine of theta is equal to 3 by 5. Let's use the equilibrium equation summation of f of x and summation of f of y at joint c. First use summation of f of x is equal to 0. Take the right force is positive and the left force is negative. FEC into cos of 45 degree is the horizontal forces acting on the right side and FCD into cos of theta is acting left. Their algebraic summation must be equal to zero. By putting the value of cos of theta into the equation and eliminate FCD, we will get the force in CD that is equal to 34.15 pound. Finally, the unknown weight are left that need to be find out. For that, use the equilibrium equation. Summation of F of Y is equal to zero at giant C. Take the vertical upward force is positive and downward force as negative. The force FEC into sine of 45 degree acting at joint C upward take it as a positive. The unknown weight that is B acting downward take it as a negative. And the force FCD into sine of theta acting upward take it as a positive. The algebraic summation of all the forces must be equal to zero. By putting the value of FEC and FCD into the equation and separate FB from the equation and simplify it, the weight of unknown force is equal to 47.8 pound.